What's up, good people? I'm Heath. This is the Minor Boys, and we are down at the race shop, and it is race week, hopefully. Um, the weather does not look good, but we're uh, preparing like we're going to race because hopefully we'll get a break in the weather and we can race. Um, this weekend, we've got a Cajun mini stock race at Thunder Valley Speedway in Winfield, Alabama. So it's a thousand to win. So we are planning on taking three of them this week. Um, I'll be driving the Deuce, Dad's car. Bo will be driving the Roll Tide ride. And Carl will be in the 10 car. <laughs> so uh, we have got motors. There's that one. Thanks to Crystal Club Racing Engines over in, uh, where are they at? Crystal Springs? Yeah. Crystal Springs, Mrs. Slippy. Uh, Carl's got that one going in the 10. The roll tide ride is here. It's got a motor in it. It's the only one that's got a motor in it that we're taking. We're rough on equipment around here. <laughs> uh, Bo's got his doors, getting new doors, gonna put a wrap on. Purple motor's going there. And there's Deuce. Got the motor out of it. Dad's been down here sawing on it. All right, what, what was the issue? Uh, we had a split cylinder, number two. I think when I shine this light, you can see it pretty well. Eh, you can see a little bit. It's what right happens, there. It's right between them two dots right there. There's a little bitty split in the cylinder wall. What it does, it puts water inside the, the compression chamber, gives you the antifreeze smell out the exhaust, steam out the exhaust. Uh, we pretty much knew the other Saturday night when we smelt it and we seen what it done. We pretty much knew what it was. These motors never really blow a head gasket. I don't know that we've ever blown a head gasket on a 2-3 motor, but most any time you get something like that, in our experiences, we have a split cylinder. All right. So we got that one. Here's the new one. Um, got to put a head on that one. It's going to go in the deuce. So in this video, we're going to talk more about the mini stocks, the Cajun mini stocks, the super ponies, modified mini, modified pony, whatever you want to call them. We're going to talk a little bit more about them and give you all more detail because everybody seems to ask about these cars when we go racing. Um, you know, what are they? You don't see them all over the country. So we'll, uh, we'll go more in depth about what you can do to the motors, the heads, the, um, the cars themselves, stuff like that. So... We're gonna get get going. We want to say thank you. We hit 3,000 subscribers this weekend, so that is awesome. We appreciate everybody that clicked subscribe. If you haven't clicked subscribe, go ahead and do it for us real quick, and we're gonna go get to work. Thank you. Hammer on it. All right. Give it some ugga duggas. Now we're getting the clutch on. We tighten the flywheel up. Got the clutch going on. These are gold star clutches. Um, this is pretty much all we've ever ran is gold star. When they say if you can't find it, grind it. If you grind it, you're gonna be paying a lot of money. A for lot. A, new one. <laughs> a lot of money. They are not cheap. But they, they're good. They're very, very good. Cylinder head installation. All right, tell them what mo what tell them the motor. Tell them what motor this is, what uh, you can do to it, and all that. In the we'll say Cajun mini stops. That's what most everybody around here. If you've got a modified four cylinder, you're running by Cajun mini stop rows. Uh, the rows are. On the engine, we run Ford engines. I'll tell you what uh, what we know about the Ford engines. On the block, you can do pretty much anything you want to the block. You have to run a stock crankshaft, and you have to run stock stroke on the crankshaft. Uh, now you can change the rods out or whatever, but you cannot change the stroke of that crankshaft. It has to be factory stroke. Uh, the cylinder heads. Uh, 
Some people run a roller camshaft. Some people run solid lift camshaft. Uh, we, we run both. cylinder head you can pretty much pour and polish uh, do it basically anything you want to do to the heads <laughs> on the uh, steel. as long as it's yeah. a steel head no you cannot aluminum. run an aluminum head <laughs> on the intake ports they cannot be moved up or down uh, some people they say have done that I've never seen one I don't know uh, we run an adjustable cam gear you can set your cam timing that way you can degree your cam uh, but basically it's a forward 2.3 block, the 2.3, the 2.5s, and all we, this is a 2.3, we can make this be a 2.5 by changing the crankshaft. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the only, the only difference in the motors. If you're on a 2.5, you got to weigh 2,500. With these, you got to weigh 23. See, it's, it's a weight break for the smaller motor. Yeah. We used to run 2.5s. He loved a 2.5, I loved a 2.5. Won a lot of races, but now, it's two threes are just kind of the the way to go back, i think back years ago all i ran but back then we were turning i was turning motors 7400 rpms and probably won what 100 races yeah. in the two five but nowadays they're turning these engines 91 92 some of them more than that we don't like to turn ours no more than 91 uh but a, a two five motor just we haven't got one that will do that. Plus, yeah. also on two five, like he said, your your weight, uh, you just you, you kind of kill yourself on the weight. Uh, if you if you're interested, go to the KMSA uh, website. Go it's to their rules. CajunMiniStocks.com. I'll leave a link down in the description for their rules. But you can go there, and you can basically go to the the engine. They they've got a lot of weight breaks on the engines now. Uh, a, uh, an ACI head, the only way you have to add weight is uh, there's a Chinese aftermarket head that came out a few years ago. Uh, everybody likes, uh, well, some people like them, some people don't. Bo, that's basically all we've ever ran on that car there. Mm -hmm. uh, Bo won, he won a ton of races with an ACI head. Uh, this head here is a, called an M13 head. It's a bad dude. It's putter, <laughs> so like I said, just a bunch of bunch of stuff you can do to these motors. A uh, bunch of combinations, and yeah. we've tried a bunch of combinations. And you, you, what makes me, what gets me upset about this class is a lot of people say you have to spend lots of money. You don't. I mean, it, everything costs money. All racing costs money, but we've won a bunch of races with homemade stuff. We've got some bought stuff. Bo's got a. Yeah. Uh, he run S Langer. He's, Sometimes uh, that bought stuff don't do you good. I was gonna say. I know we had somebody saying we need to buy built stuff and all that. Well, the motor that was in that one was bought from a very very high up four cylinder dealer uh, or builder, engine builder. Well, it blew up before it got to six grand. This motor was built right here in the shop uh rods and pistons everything was put together here that head was on it and that sucker won a lot of race it should have won both races in uh, batesville last year and that's the biggest race that we had last year and it won it so you know we we we, we build good stuff out of here too so a lot of stuff you can do but they they restrict a lot of stuff too so but we got that head on we gonna torque it down carl's got his on the hoist so it's time to stick two motors. But that's the gist of a 2.3, 2.5 Mustang four cylinder engine. Purple rain, purple people eater. 
is in. Uh, Got to get the header, starter, all that stuff on. But it's in. Carl's got a little busy work ahead of him. So the purple one is in the tin. Just to keep y'all straight. The black one is going in deuce. We don't paint. We don't paint the deuce with paint. Hey, paint it whatever color we want to. Put a little go fast juice on there. And we're close to being ready. All right, we had to cut the camera off for confidential reasons. Uh, that one's about ready. Bo finally showed up. Some folks got to work. <laughs> We've been down here for four hours. Bo gets off too late. He needs to talk to his boss about that. <laughs> he has no more PTO time. Yeah, that's his boss. Is that what y'all call it? The medical uh -huh. profession PTO? No, no paid time off. Bo has no PTO. <laughs> Cherokee did him in. Yeah, Cherokee was my last PTO. All right, Carl's getting the starter on that one. It'll be ready to far here in a little bit. We're about to drop this one in the deuce here in a minute. While we got a break in the action, y'all do us a flavor. Dirt Swag on Facebook. Give them a like. Check out dirtswag.com. They got cool hats, shirts, hoodies, all that stuff. Y'all check them out, give them a like, tell them the Miner Boys sent you. Also, camperkingdom.com, go check out their RVs. They also do RV services as well. Um, so y'all check them out, ask for Drew, tell them the Miner Boys sent you, and go buy you a new RV to bring to the racetrack. Appreciate it. All right, we told y'all about the motors and these things, what you can and can't do. Now we have our guest, Bo Miner. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna go through tell us kind of about the chassis what you can't can cut can't cut it's not a tube frame it's a stock chassis so pretty much it's i don't know what he told you anywhere from 84 85 to 91 92 fox body mustang chassis is what it starts off as all right now it's pretty up with sheet metal you know but the main deal is, the main rule is that you have to have a full floor pan. Now you can cut out a spot for your exhaust to go out, but we've got a full floor pan. You have to have a full firewall in the car. It's leaking. <laughs> I'm gonna say somebody's gonna watch us and bust us on something. <laughs> it's probably one of the oldest cars out there running yeah. right now. What what are we? It's at least fifteen years old. Yeah, yep. So, but suspension, you know, you can run jack bolts in the rear, front, all that. Uh, shocks in the rear, which I've got stock shock mounts in mine where I'm at. Um, you can, according to the rules, you can raise the mounts up and down as long as you don't change the angle. A lot of guys come back here and chop it here and bar it all the way back, which is completely legal. Mine, I've got stock frame all the way to the rear bumper. Um, you know, so it's, it's pretty much a stock chassis, yeah. you know, and it's, I think that that's a lot of why they're so hard to drive because they're not built to go around the racetrack. Yeah, they're built to go straight, not turn left. Exactly. Uh, uh, stock uh, strut oh, towers. <laughs> stock strut towers. You can tube stuff in front of the strut towers right. and you can run your caster camera plates. Right but... in front of your strut tower, right here. You can tube the front end from here out. So. And then the caster camera plates, you can put on there to adjust that. You can't get exactly what you want, but you can get kind of close. I mean, it's we got decent, decent setup on this one. I mean, this like we said, it's 15 years old, and it still runs up front. So um, it's mostly on these about I think scales. Yeah. Um, put it on scales and get it. You can't do as much with these chassis as you can the street stops. Yeah. 
So you have to... You can't change your mounts on your lowers, nothing like that. Like we said, this the... Um, hang on a second. Sorry, guys. Um, the struts are basically in, uh, in stock location, so I mean, you can't do a whole lot to the front end. Those street stock front ends, they build them to where they're supposed to turn left. That's right. Um, we get these where they ease left a little bit, but <laughs> but I mean that's that's basically it. Everybody's been asking about these cars. Like we said, a Cajun mini stock, outlaw pony, super pony, modified pony, whatever you want to call them. They're called different things everywhere. But um, that's the yeah. We talked about the engine. Uh, we talked about the chassis. That's that's really, you know, that's really it. The tires, we run a 10 inch or nine and a half inch American Racer. You can run eight inch. You get a weight break on tires. Um, you know, so we, we've always ran the, the nine and a halfs on ours. Some folks run eights. I ran them one race and I took them off as fast as I could. <laughs> so, uh, but some people like them. So, but yeah, that's, that's a Cajun Mini stop that's what it boils down to and these these aren't just you know these aren't cars we're gonna go run weekly because they're we've got money in them and time in them and you know we run we chase paper with them <laughs> that's, that's right. you mean, know that's all there is to it. <laughs> with, with these 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 right here are our money chasers we ain't we're not going to, to run for 200 dollars unless it's a shakedown race before a big one or something carl on the other hand he might Look, right now I'll put <laughs> So, but anyways, we just want to fill y'all in on that stuff because we've got a lot of people asking, what are these? They don't have them in their area, all that. So, um, but they're tough to drive. They're, they're not easy, especially, no power yeah, no power steering, especially when you get to these, these Cajun races, it's probably the best of the best four cylinders in the country, honestly. So, um, they're they're not not easy to drive but anyways we just wanted to update y'all on all that we've got the deuces motor about ready to stick in uh we're gonna get it stuck and i think carl's about done with his too so oh. y'all got it yeah. just tighten it up Motor number two. Set the end. Uh, very close. Tighten her up and pull her, pull her two. Let's check on Carl. Uh oh. Hey, if you were going to give me that bit that you stole, we'll oh, yeah. Ready to fire well, I was going to film them getting the. Uh, the thing in we got the radiator golly uh that's all you need that's all you need that fitting all right well let's go get a fitting boys look this is what happened when you when you say your car is gonna sit for a couple weeks you gotta rob stuff off of it yeah i think we stole something i'm about to get it you need it okay but i'm pretty sure we stole it off carl's car for this car or something i don't know but I mean, let me get this thing off real quick all right the ignition kind of set yep. they did like 11 or 12 pulls on it there you go old man 74 degrees of timing <laughs> that's what crystal club told me
You scared, Carl? You scared that first half laugh, aren't you? <laughs> not, 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 not as much now as I was the first time. That dino just, so yeah. it, it has run a while. Yep, that one has been on the dyno, so it should be ready to rock and roll. But, Dad's got a little work to do to the deuce. What all you got to do? Get the... I lost count, it's time to eat. He's got a little bit of work, but we'll, we'll have it running in the next couple of days. But uh, hopefully we are racing Saturday. We were supposed to race Friday and Saturday, but Friday's already canceled with these storms coming in. I have got a feeling that Saturday's not gonna happen, but Fingers crossed. Y'all keep your fingers crossed. We got a lot of rain coming down here in the south. So, um, 3,000 subscribers. Thank y'all. If you want hats, holler at us. Let us know. There's a description, uh, email in the description below. $20 plus shipping. So, y'all holler if you want a hat. Um, we're out of here. What do you say, boys? Let's go. Like, subscribe, leave us a comment, and uh, we'll catch y'all next time. Appreciate you.